The Book of Zechariah, Chapter 7. And it came to pass in the fourth year of King Darius that the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah the fourth day in the ninth month, even in Chelu. When they had sent unto the house of God Sherezar and Rejamelech and their men to pray before the Lord, and to speak unto the priests which were in the house of the Lord of hosts, and to prophets, saying, Should I weep in the fifth month, separating myself, as I have done to these so many years? Then came the word of the Lord of hosts unto me, saying, Speak unto all the people of the land, and to the priests, saying, When ye fasted and mourned in the fifth and seventh month, even those seventy years did ye all fast unto me, even to me? And when ye did eat, and when ye did drink, did ye not eat for yourselves and drink for yourselves? Should ye not hear the words which the Lord has cried by the former prophets, when Jerusalem was inhabited, and the prophets prosperity and the cities thereof round about her, when men inhabited the south and the plain. And the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah, saying, Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment, and shew mercy and compassions every man to his brother, and oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor, and let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. But they refused to hearken and pulled away at the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Yes, they made their hearts as an abundant stone, as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts had sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came the great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Therefore it was come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear, so they cried, and I would not hear, says the Lord of hosts. But I scattered them with a whirlwind among all the nations whom they knew not. Thus the land was desolate after them, that no man passed through nor returned, for they laid the pleasant land desolate. Chapter 8 Again the word of the Lord of hosts came to me, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I was jealous for Zion with great jealousy, and I was jealous for her with great fury. Thus says the Lord, I am returned unto Zion, and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called the city of truth, and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus says the Lord of hosts, There shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, and every man with his staff in his hand for very age. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. Thus says the Lord of hosts, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of his people in these days, should it also be marvelous in my eyes, says the Lord of hosts? Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country, and I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God in truth and in righteousness. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Let your hands be strong, Ye that hear in the days these words by the mouth of the prophets, which were in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid, that the temple might be built. For before these days there were no hire for man, nor any hire for beast. Neither was there any peace to him that went out or came in because of the affliction. For I sent all men, every one against his neighbor. But now I will not be unto the residue of his people as in the former days, says the Lord of hosts. For the seed that shall be prosperous, the vine shall give her fruit, and the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their dew, and I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these things. And it shall come to pass that as ye were a curse among the heathen, O house of Judah, O house and house of Israel, so will I save you, and ye shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your hands be strong. For thus says the Lord of hosts, As I thought to punish you, when your fathers provoked me to wrath, says the Lord of hosts, and I repented not, so again have I thought in these days to do well unto Jerusalem, and to the house of Judah, fear ye not. These are the things that ye may, shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor, execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates, and let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against his neighbor, and love no false oath, for all these are things that I hate, says the Lord. And the word of the Lord 
of hosts came unto me, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, The fast of the four month, and the fast of the fifth, and the fast of the seventh, and the fast of the tenth, shall be to the house of Judah joy and gladness, cheerful feasts, therefore love the truth and peace. Thus says the Lord of hosts, It shall yet come to pass that there shall come people on the inhabitants of many cities, and the inhabitants of many of one city shall go to another, saying, Let us go speedily to pray before the Lord, and to seek the Lord of hosts. I will go also. Yes, many people and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem, and to pray before the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, In those days it shall come to pass, that ten men shall take hold of all the languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of them that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard you, that God is with you. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.